Are we live, huh? yeah. All right, Shalom. We're the Jim Mess Louisiana Saints coming back at you with another Shabbat lesson. But prior to getting started, as we always do, we want to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushua, Yahushua, Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to the audience that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video will be edifying, first and foremost, to the whole elect and to those that cleave to the body. And in today's Shabbat lesson, me and the brothers just were discussing that, uh, you know, I don't know what it was like, a thir or 32 car crash or something like that, in a roundabout way, out of yeah. Fort work. I may have the numbers, you know, here or there, but it was a pile up. And all you could think about is the Lord's judgment. A hundred and fifty three right? car pile up. Oh wow. You would put a whole hundred, a whole nother digit in front of that. Uh, so lock on my behalf, you know, a hundred and thirty-three car pile up. And you know, Edom is through gazing with numbers. It probably was more than that, more death than what it was. But hey, nonetheless, the Lord judgment is right before the eyes of the whole world, man. All right. And the world don't really recognize the power that our Lord have in his hand, man. All right? Because they tell you in the Apocrypha that the Lord show his power, show his power as he will, man. All right? And by the Lord showing his power as he will, the things that are done in the earth is done on a behalf that the people in the earth can learn righteousness, man. Because they live in wickedness. You see? So everything that's going to be done is going to be done in a form or fashion to, to flip the world around all right from his, his own ways that it's going, man. Okay, because this world is coming to a crash or a day and end, man. All right? It don't have a future. Okay? It's not it's not sustainable at the rate and route it's going. All right? So the Lord just about to look, put a hold in it, man. It have reached its bounds that it can't pass. But give me that on, um, Baba Kashan. Khan, this is Isaiah 26, verse 9. With my soul have I desired thee in the night. Yeah, with my spirit within me will I seek thee early. For when thy judgments are in the earth, the inhabitants of the world will learn righteousness. So it says when his judgments is in the earth. And one thing one thing about judgments, judge, at the time when judgments occur, all right, especially when it's gruesome judgments, it get people attention. That is an attention seeker. All right, meaning it get the people attention momentarily. All right, it brings them out of their uh, false reality. All right, their virtual reality, or they, or they folly. All right, or they, or they, or they, or they uh, giving into marriages for the moment just to focus on it. That's how the importance of the significance of that is, man. All right, that is not something that you go about your life in this day to day. You know, every minute that you're accustomed to. This world can never get accustomed to debt, man. That's why it's always tears. All right, it's always people asking why the Lord is doing this because there's no answers for it, man. But the men of the Lord have the answers. And through the answers, we have the comfort. And we know through that comfort, all right, that it's righteous judgments from the Lord. Y'all brothers got something to say? Yeah, I got one real quick. All right, Con, go ahead. This is uh, Isaiah 2, verse 11. The lofty looks of man shall be humbled, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. For the day of Yahweh of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Yep. Hey, hey, meaning what? Them that are, uh, um, um, exalt themselves shall be what? A base, man. All right? And them, hey, and at the end of the day, at the end of the day, if you halt in spirit, all right, or uh, 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 believe that you untouchable, because there's a, a family of people on earth that believe they're untouchable, man. And they pride have been lifted up in them, all right? They soul that is lifting up in them is not right. So they have people that believe that the judgments of the Lord gonna, uh, is, is going to pass by them, man. You see? They think that they're going to escape the hand of the Lord, man. Which no man can escape the hand of him, man. You, you want to say something? Else? Yeah, I just uh, brought that out because, uh, like you said, and when judgments come, death and, and destruction and all that catches people's attention. And hey, as a, as it said in that Isaiah twenty six verse nine, when, when that judgments come, then then will the people know in that day. 
And like it said in that Isaiah too, the proud and lofty looks will be brought low because everybody, pretty much the majority of the people on this planet right now are proud and lofty. They don't believe in the most high. They think everything's a joke in a game. And that's exactly why the most high is about to bring down this stringent judgment to bring down those proud and lofty looks and show that his judgments are the only thing that reign in the earth. And can I get a precept real quick to back up that Isaiah too? Yeah, Khan, I'll do your thing. This is second Esther's eight verse 50. For many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter time. Mm -hmm. In the in the latter time shall dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Hey, and it says many great mysteries. And when these mm -hmm. things happen to them, the reason why it's gonna be mysterious to them is because misery. Huh? Misery. Many, many great misery. Just okay, yeah. Time. Oh, Salaka, Salaka. Many great miseries gonna be uh gonna come upon these people. Salaka, that's my fault. Many miseries. Because when these things happen, the reason why they're gonna be miserable, because they couldn't prepare, they didn't prepare themselves for the great uh arm and judgment of the Lord, man. The Lord arm is great, all right, and great is his judgment. You see, and just once again, judgment is a tendency uh catcher, man. So the re the, the the misery of the people is gonna be great upon the earth, man, because of these things that's gonna be done, and we read about them, we read. Uh, to Jay constantly, daily, and Agora on these uh, live streams amongst one another in our day to days. We're telling Jay, listen, the Lord is about to do something that's about to uh, add to the history books. But guess what Jay do? Hey, Jay taking it what? Toss it behind him, man. Well, it ain't come all this time. I still got time to do this and do that. But that's the problem with Jay. Jay don't measure time with judgment, all right? Because judgment is happening in the earth. We just haven't seen it at a, a great multitude or at a great length, a height, to where everybody starts to notice, okay, we're in them times that the prophet said that we were going to be in. Go ahead, Ot. Uh That was it. But, hey, that 133-car that pileup today was, hey. was judged for the most high. They say hey. six people died, but if you look at how severe that crash was, it, 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 it had to have been more than six people. And that's because yeah. these people, I can guarantee you, everybody that was in that car pileup was prideful and boastful and didn't take heed to the time. That's why that stringent judgment caught them like a thief in the night. And it's going to continue yeah. and get worse as we get closer and closer to you. How was Shai making his second coming? Hey, the law say he about to, uh, he about to breach the people as a giant. Give me that Job 16. Give me that Job 16. The law say I'm a breach Job said the Lord breached him as a giant. Now, how much more? Just matter of fact, bring it out. Let, let's let the scripture speak. Start, start at 11. This is Job 16, verse 11. The Most High hath delivered me to the ungodly and turned me over into the hands of the wicked. Come on, go ahead. I was at ease, but he hath broken me asunder. That's the point. It's at ease, but he had broken me asunder. Now, how much more? Job, a righteous man. How much more the unrighteous? Like it say, um, uh, if the unright, if the righteous shall scarcely make it, how much more would the ungodly and the sinner appeal? How much more for them? You see? Go ahead. He had also taken me by my neck and mm -hmm. shaken me to pieces and set me up for his mark. And when you take a man by his neck, you basically have him at your mercy. Meaning, you when you got a man at his neck, that's why it says Judas shall have his enemy um ha uh, have his hand in his neck. Meaning, he's gonna be at your mercy. All right, you got him in a position to where you could what just choke the life out of him and kill him, man. Or uh, if a man come behind you and put his arm around you like this, you know, in a four now, you know, like when a man come around you, what he basically gonna do? Choke you out. You saying in UFFC how uh uh um uh. uh when Conor McGregor got choked out by your boy, man, our boy. Khabib. Khabib. You see what Khabib do you when he get his hands around your neck? It's over. It's over, man. And he's a man. How much more our power that sit in the heaven, man? Go ahead. Uh, verse 13. His archers compass me round about. He cleaveth my reins asunder and doth not spare. He poureth <laughs> out my gall upon the ground. Hey, hey, the gall upon the ground, hey, Job is uh, basically met metaphorically saying like the Lord is tearing me inside out. He's tearing me to pieces. The scriptures say, um, uh, 
uh, at least go and tell me the piece. Tell on, um, at least I tell you the pieces, man. You see, and our power is a terrible power. That's why through his terror we persuade men. That's why we bring out videos of judgment, different things of that nature to do what those that are of the elect going to take heed to it and they're going to revere it and fear it, man. All right, that they may know what the judgments of the Lord is, man. I was going to say this too, because you got to put yourself in the mindset like, that could have been me, the Lord put on that highway early oh. in the morning and tore your ass up, man. Because uh, right here, uh, what it is, I get it real fast. I get it right here. Cause we all bring out this only but good, but what it says right here, Psalm 68 and 20. Yep. He that is our power is the power of salvation, and that's it. the most high, the Lord the Lord belong the issues from death. <laughs> belong the yeah. issues. Death. The Lord want to bring it. The Lord the one summons in death, man, in destruction yeah. out here. He said that's why he said, should, should the trumpet be blown and the Lord have not done it? Should it be no bad? Should the trumpet be blown? Should it be? Should it be evil and sin? The Lord have not done it. He's the one doing these things, man. But you got it out. Right. The scripture said, Proverbs, I believe, is folk. Keep thy heart with all thy diligence. diligence. Be, out of it comes the issues of life. And if the issues dealing with that belong to the Lord, how much more should we pattern our minds around serving the Lord that we don't fall victim to them issues, man? And issues uh, of debt, meaning that's everything surrounding the debt leading up to the debt plus the debt also, all right? That means uh, that crash, all right, was marked out in the heavens, before it even happened here, okay? So it was nothing those people could do to avoid it, man. And when you, if if the if you can't avoid the Lord's hand, then what you do? You get um uh behind it that you don't get what hit by it, man. You try to avoid it at all costs, man. You see? Give me that um that fourteen, Job sixteen and fourteen. Con, he breaketh me with breach upon breach. He yep. runneth upon me like a giant. <laughs> the Lord breaking me with breach upon breach. He runneth upon me like a giant, man. This a righteous man that's saying this. How much more the ungodly and the sinners, those that don't take heed to the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, all right? That constantly go their day to day, believing that they're getting their own selves through the day or to the next day, believing yeah. in the power of their own self, man. Go ahead. I got one. Go ahead, Elder. You got it. 21 and 17. How are, how are, how are, are is the candle of the wicked put out? How are, how are coming the destruction unto them? The most high distributed sorrows in his anger. All right. <laughs> it says they are as stubble before the wind. And there's oh. stuff that the, that the storm carried, carried away. Oh, man. Yeah. It says the most high laid up his iniquity. For his children, he rewarded he he rewarded him, and he is he shall know it. And then he that's right. This morning, this morning, man. <laughs> God damn! Hey, it says he shall know it, and he rewarded. He laid up the iniquity. All right, and and what happens is iniquity is something that that's a tab that's attached to the person that committed it. Because people these days don't believe in red card. You see these gruesome deaths. This from that person past life of because the Lord could kill you in this life for a, a, a past former life sin or iniquity that you committed, man. Well, got, Just got like more. got a little more to go ahead. Come. 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 Of the prince, and where are the dwelling places of the wicked? Question mark. Have ye not asked them that go by the way? Question mark. But do ye not know their tokens that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction? Right. He 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 reserved the, the wicked to what? The day of death. It tell you that the wicked is reserved to the day of uh, of, of judgment. You see. The Lord do that because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Is it fully set in the sons of men to what? Commit on um, iniquity, man, or evil. Go ahead. 
It said that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Who shall declare his way to his face? Question mark. <laughs> Who shall repay him what he has done? Question mark. Te declare to his face as man, y'all can, uh, me, I believe man, you're the elder winner to that to his face, meaning what? Up close and front you, literally. Remember we Went into that with the reincarnation, with you know how he come back in the face. You you know what I'm talking about, our elder. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Y'all brothers about remember, Mike. right? Be Go ahead, you got it. Oh yeah, meaning he's gonna what? He's gonna bring it right before you, man. You know how man say, man, my life flashed before me. <laughs> that's the remembrance of things that happened before yeah, you, Jake. Yeah, all that wicked that's, ass shit. That's all that wicked shit. You heard me? You didn't heard Jake? Man, it seemed like my life flashed before me. But that's just Jake really uttering in the spirit like, man, I've been doing some wicked shit. And the Lord, you know, flashed me like, I will fuck over you. I'll bring it to your face and let you know I could get busy with you. And the Lord don't try to kill nobody. The Lord is flawless. If the Lord won't kill you, he's going to kill you. He never attempt to kill anybody. The Lord don't have no attempt murders under his belt. All right? <laughs> The Lord is a, a, a stone-cold murderer, all said, right? I wound him a lot. I purposely wound your ass. Send a message. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't attempt to kill you, all right? I slapped you. I chastened you. Like, I didn't attempt to kill you. I got dead angels that's on call, that's on, on, on my beck and call, summons by me to do to appease me as I will. You think I'm going to tell them to, all right, go down there and kill them, and they're going to make a mistake? Is you crazy? Go right. ahead, Art. And it says 32, yet shall he be brought to the, the grave and shall remain in the tomb. There you go. Right. So when you be, when this judgment hits you, bro, you ain't going to recover from it, man. And most of our people, like the Lord say, I'm about to exercise a power in the earth. Man, it, 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 the Lord might um uh, might outdo him own his own self. Like God damn, I ain't know I was gonna do all that, man. <laughs> you know, I, I you know just being somewhat sarcastic, but you know the Lord know all the work He gonna do. You see, what we got? Okay, um, Brennan, Brennan. why? And when he come in, leave out and go out because you know you probably be uh studying, all right? So yeah, man, the Lord, um, I right, give me wisdom of Solomon eleven. And um uh uh twenty-one Baba Kasha Shalom Shabbat Shalom Mike Yaba Shima Shabbat. Right. I, we just I know you've probably been watching it, but we just covering on judgment, you know, so you can get up to speed. Pretty much the Lord right. judgment with that that car piled up and you know, of course, you know, the hand in the earth. You good with that? You good, Yaganah? Well, I'm good now. Right, con. Oh, um, why are you? Give me, I mean, Raya, Raya. Give me that wisdom of Solomon 11. Okay. Which Raya, verse? You could give me, you could give me Job 23, and uh, you could start at around about 15. I know the elder is holding, but I'll let you get some words. I got I mean, you. you know. Yeah, con, go ahead. Which, which go ahead, verse? Raya. Oh, uh, wisdom of Solomon 11, and you start at 21. Con. This is Wisdom of Solomon 11, verse 21. For thou <clears throat> canst do thy great strength at all times when thou wilt. Uh -huh. And withstand the power of thine arm. So the Lord said he can show his great strength at all times whenever he, when he will. Meaning when he, he getting ready. All right? Just like the Lord just constantly show you his power. It is a lot of things that don't make the news that the Lord is, is um, uh, uh, Exercising, uh, exercising prophecy in the earth, meaning things are happening that they're not reporting. All right, now yeah, you know some things make the news, we get it, and some things we see, but it's things that's really uh, according to prophecy that the, the 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 men that are in charge of the earth will not allow the eyes and ears of the people to see in here, man. All right, because what it is is detrimental to his rulership. So he's not going to give this to the people. All right, give the people this, but don't give the people that because of the great judgment of power of the Lord. But it don't matter what you show the people because the prophets of the Lord 
know what the judgments of the Lord is and what's happening in the earth. Because they have a time according to prophecy and they know what's going down and what's happening in the earth, whether you show them or not. They believe that the Lord is full of power, man. You see, go ahead, Ot. Verse 12, for the whole world before verse thee. Verse 22. Oh, yeah, come on, verse 22. For the whole world before thee is as a little grain of the balance. Yeah, as a drop of the morning dew that falleth down upon the earth. So the whole world is before him as a little grain. All right, so the Lord basically like, listen, the world is, is <laughs> hey, the world is in the midst of the Lord's hand, in the palm of his hand. The Lord could do this to the whole world, man, and crush the world in one in one go. All right, this is how omnipotent and power the power that we serve. That's why I say uh, he's Allah Shaja, man, a demon like power, man. And the Lord is a man of war. He like to see bloodshed. All right, the Lord the Lord is is on another element from us, bro. We can't go far enough in explaining. All right, the power and the judgment that the Lord uh, show these people, man. Show us, man. We we still standing off at the Lord's power, man, every day. Even though we know what he said he would do and how he would do it. We, it's still, we still marvel at it, man. You see? Go ahead. I got a precept for you, too. This is uh, yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 11 and 23. But that God, uh, that's it. Oh, we got, go hey Ryan, why you there? Jump down to uh twelve and start at eleven and read down. Kind of. This Real is good. Wisdom, kind of. This is wisdom of Solomon twelve verse eleven. Shit, and stop at seventeen, man. Kind of. For it was Shit. a curse. Eighteen. Kind of. <laughs> For it was a curse seed from the beginning. Yeah, that's the wicked. Neither didst thou, for fear of any man, give them pardon for those things wherein they sinned. Mm -hmm. For who shall say, what hast thou done? Or who mm -hmm. shall stand thy judgment? Or who shall... Yeah, is, there, is, is it, I can add, it says, is there iniquity with the Lord? Meaning, can the Lord hand rough iniquity? Meaning, if I done all this, I killed children in that crash, old people, I killed the ex-president, can somebody say, well, this wrong that the Lord did that, all right? Or uh, it wasn't right according to his judgment. Go ahead. Or who shall withstand thy judgment? Or who shall accuse thee for the nations that perish whom thou was made? <laughs> Come. So if anybody died, right, whether they be small or great, whether they be another nation or his own nation, even his own, if he killed somebody in Israel, has anybody perished being innocent? Or oh, where was the righteous cut off? So you can't blame the Lord for nothing, no debt that come about, because the Lord is the author of the debt. He, he's the one that carried the issues around it, and he's the one that carried the whole debt out. And the Lord say, man, when, when nigga got mad about COVID, COVID for me. For you me? I own COVID. I own COVID. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I came out here with the COVID and the pestilence and no, not extra Kobe, of people on. I'm talking about Kobe Bryant. Like niggas oh, Kobe. Oh, oh, I own Kobe Bryant. I made Kobe yeah. Bryant. He's for me. I got yeah. a trade on Kobe. <laughs> for real? Up. Kobe for me. I do with him as I please. Like, yeah. I created him. Go ahead. Straight or up. Who, or who shall come to stand against thee to be revenged for the unrighteous men? He basically said, I knocked him off. I knocked the, un the unrighteous man off. And who going to stand against me? You know, you know, your Kevin gave for I go to war with God to get for her or him. You ain't shut up, man. Nigga, you know what you saying? <laughs> can, the, can the creator, I mean, the creature <laughs> battle the creator? Are you serious? <laughs> you know? To, who can revenge the unrighteous men? Meaning, who can walk with the Lord and get and get uh get a get a get a victory? Get a victory with one with them, man. <laughs> hey, but they got people that's about to get ready to fight the Lord, and we gonna get into them people. Y'all know who I'm talking about, all right? They got space force. They ready to fight the Lord. <clears throat> Let's see if they get the victory though. But go ahead, I. Verse 13, 
for neither is there any power but thou that heareth all to whom thou might eschew that thy judgment is not unright. Right, that his judgment is right. And that's where you get um uh that's where you get his indignation, which is righteous judgment. You see, and with whatever judgment that he put out or summons the angels to take care of is all righteous. Whether it look unrighteous to the people or it seem wrong or people just feeling some kind of way about it, it the Lord don't give a fuck, man. You know, we just calling a spade a spade because that's what it is. Go ahead. Neither shall king or tyrant be able to set his face against thee for any whom thou is punished. So a king can't rise up in the stand, say the king right hand man get, get you know, uh, uh, killed or whatever. And he, you know, he that was his mind. He can't, a king, because a king is of great power, all right, or a tyrant. They can't rise up against the Lord because the king's mind is in the hand of the Lord. And he changes whatsoever he please. What about uh that was that was Nebuchadnezzar that bucked up against the Lord and he made him turn them into a beast? Uh, right. Yeah, you can't you can't come up against the Lord. The Lord will make seven times pass over you and make you eat grass and make bird claws grow out your hand. Nigga, you see? Go ahead, Doc. Verse 15. For so much then as thou art righteous thyself, thou orderest all things righteously thinking it not agreeable with thy power to condemn him that hath not deserved to be punished. <laughs> Come, go ahead. That's plain. For thy power is the beginning of righteousness, and because thou art the Lord of all, it maketh thee to be gracious unto all. Right, Come. So even if the Lord kill you, he was gracious of you. I, I always I always paraphrase this precept. They don't go like this and go that kind of way. But the law said, when I have killed you, I have done you good, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Because he did. He have woken you up to your right. You, you're in your righteous state. You no longer sinning. You no longer don't know him. You no longer doing all matters of wicked, blasphemy, adultery. All right? You in the best state you could be. You know? So the law said, when I have killed you, I have done you good. But he don't. He have no ple. He he, he he take no pleasure in the debt of the of the, of the righteous. He, he take no pleasure in the debt of a man because they what they pretty much failed him. You see, go ahead. Stop at twenty two. All right, get all the meat off the bone. Stop at twenty two. All right. Come. The Lord Come. take no pleasure in the debt. That's what in wisdom of Solomon too. Uh, I mean, wisdom of Solomon. He said, I take no pleasure at debt. Like meaning, he didn't make debt for you know for the fuck. I'm I'm gonna get that. As in wisdom, I think one, and, uh, chapter one. But go ahead, I. And, and can I make a, a point to back up what you just said? Is yeah, really the most. Y'all do y'all thing, y'all. Yep, yep. Kind of the Most High really doing you a favor because He's putting you back in your right mind in the spirit world. And think yeah. about it like this: anybody that was wicked on this side and was going to get judged, the most. One in thirteen, uh. Yep, that's it. One in thirteen. The water, the water for that. Yep. I like you, Ronnie. Like you. The so most High. So like it for me too. The Most High killing them. if they were wicked and were going to get judged anyway. The Most High was gracious unto them by killing them off before Jacob's trouble, before the real. <laughs> for, real. <laughs> for real, you got a break because you might get, you know, you might get the famine. You might get a, a, a you run from a line of bear get you a serpent bite you. All right, which is all synonymous as you just going through pure hell. Because some people may take that plainly, but that's spiritual. Meaning you're going to be running from troubles on top of troubles on top of troubles. It may not literally be a bell and a lion and a serpent. All right. It might be, it might be behemoth. All right. Of, 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 of Leviathan and, and Gabriel, man, you might be running from. You see, you might be running from Michael, Leviathan, behemoth, man. <laughs> At the same time. You see? Go ahead, Art. Okay. Uh, verse 17 in, in Wisdom Let him get that. Let him read what he got. Read no, what you I got because we're going to pass it up. Yeah, go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 1 verse, verse 12. Seek not death in the error of your life and pull not upon yourselves destruction with the work of your hands. Yup. 
For Yahweh made not death, neither has yep. he pleasure in the destruction of the living. See, because God said, I'm the God, I'm the, I'm the God of the living. So the God said, look, I don't got pleasure in the destruction of the living. That's not, I created the, I created man to be what? Eternal, right? So he, if you died, that means the wages of sin is death. That means you were sinning off pretty much, man. Because in the kingdom of heaven, that's why we're going to live that full day. Because we, the Israel of the Most High wasn't made to be destroyed, man. All right? We was made to live forever, man. That full day. That's why he said, I have no pleasure in the destruction of the living. You see? Go ahead, Ak. Kind of said, verse 14, for he created all things that they might have their being yep. in the children. And the generations of the world were healthful, and there is no poison of destruction in them, nor the kingdom of death upon the earth. Right, because the righteousness is immortal. is immortal. You see, so of uh, of uh, uh, sin work at death. All right, and then death does is punishment, man. But it, it, he didn't. He made the righteous to be lived to to live and be healthful, man. But go back to what you had, right? Kind of. I just were making that point that you have no pleasure in the destruction of the living. The water on uh why you kind of go ahead, Ryan. I still got Job too. Come on, come on, come. We're gonna get to it. The elder had wanted to knock this out right here. Go ahead, y'all can now you got it from with um what why you got. Go ahead, finish where you have Ryan. Kind of. Back in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 12, verse 17. For when men will not believe that thou art of a full power. Thou shewest thy strength, and among them that know it, thou makest their boldness manifest. Right? <laughs> the men of the Lord. Yeah. We we make our boldness. That's why we stand bold, because we know the Lord is going to stand good on everything he said and did some. That's why we out there bold, like, all right, y'all don't got to listen, but that don't uh take, take the, away, what if away, some do not believe? Huh? Yep. It doesn't take away from what's about to happen, what the Lord said. Yep, the respect. Yeah. Yeah. For what if son do not believe? Romans 3 and 3. Do it make the effect of God? God forbid. It don't, it don't affect the prophecies because they still going to unfold. All right. To all things be fulfilled. All right. Now, shall not one dot, one uh, tittle shall in no wise pass, man, to all be fulfilled. So until everything be filled, it don't matter what nobody believes, man. You can believe. The Lord ain't coming back to 20, uh, 21,100 year, whatever. It don't matter, man. The Lord is going to be fulfilled in this in this time, in this season. Go ahead, I. But thou, mastering thy power, judgest with equity and orderest us with great favor, for thou mayest use power when thou wilt. There yeah. go. Come on. He, he judges with, with, with balance because that's what equity goes into. Equity, balance, yeah. Yeah. And the most high does it in his proper times, man. You know, and, and like the brother said earlier, the wicked, the wicked out here that get judged, right? You know, the Lord created the Lord created these different things to, to judge the wicked, man. Even the wicked of our own people. That's why we don't feel bad. The Lord tell you in Jeremiah to not to cry for these people, man. We don't feel bad when Jake get jacked up. We definitely don't feel bad when the nations get jacked up out here, man. All right, because they are the wicked, man. Ain't no, ain't no. I don't see no Yahweh Bashim Abishai posters and billboards running around. All right, Yahweh Bashim Abishai commercials and them trying to do right now. Nah, they doing wicked. This, this is Satan's playground over here in America, man. You can do as thou will over here. All right, but you about to, you about to find out who the true judge of the earth is, man. All right, who, who's the chief judge of the, of the earth, and who's going to judge with a with an iron fist? All right, in a in a, in a metal ga gavel, man. All right, because the Lord's been a, Lord's been to kill thousands and on top of millions of people, man. Millions on top of millions of Israelites going to die at one time. All right, go ahead, Doc. Down to the to that point. I told you, verse nineteen. But by such works has thou taught thy people. That the just man should be merciful and has made thy children to be of a good hope, and thou givest repentance for sins. For if thou didst punish the enemies of thy children and, and, and the condemned to death with such deliberation, 
giving them time and place whereby they might be delivered from their malice. With circumspection, didst thou judge thine own sons, unto whose fathers thou hast sworn and made covenants of good promises? So the Lord, this Lord is so balanced. The Lord judges his own uh, uh, only begotten son. He judges his own sons, meaning the sons of Israel. He judged us, man. So you can't say the Lord ain't balanced. The Lord gave every every nation on planet Earth. He gave them time to rule, man. All right, now. now all right, the, the base of men had their time. Now they finna get judged, man. And it's just that simple. The Lord, the Lord's balance. Nobody can never say uh, bring charges against the Lord of Him being unjust. He's a just power. Yeah. All right. It is what it is, man. You you can you can you can get mad all you want, but the Most High is just. All right. And you and and, and to understand that too, you can go to uh, Romans the ninth chapter, man. Everything anything past uh, you start at thirteen on down to the end. Go ahead, Art. Yeah, the Lord, to add to you, Art, the Lord, he, uh, a false balance is abomination to the Lord, and balance is judgment. Right. Ju you, that's why we had to learn evil in order before we could become judges. You see what I'm saying? The righteous men. We had right. to learn evil in order to judge, meaning we had to get a balance. So balance is synonymous with each other. They one and the same. You got it, Art. Yeah, because under, under, uh, under the under the Adam, all right, and as being the Adamites, we only knew righteousness, man. Yeah. So, and when you 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 bring us up into these times, the reason why we're going is also because of our own disobedience, but also it's another lesson to learn, like the brother said. We are learning, all right, how it is it to be uh, wicked, and once we get put in our proper place and in a proper mindset, we're going to come to the realization of this is how this is what happens, and this is how it is to be wicked. We're gonna be full blown judges. We're gonna have a 360 view of proper judgment. All right. So that's how we're gonna that's how we're gonna be able to judge you uh nations in the kingdom of heaven so perfectly, man. All right, because we're gonna have the law, statutes, and commandments in our in our in our minds, man. We we're never gonna go off again, and we're gonna judge you down to the T. I'm talking, I'm talking about down to the to the smallest period, man. All right, and you're gonna get that work, man. Period. But keep, go to the next one, Axel. We can, I give it back to the brother fully. Con, con. Verse 22. Therefore, whereas thou dost chasten us, thou scourgest our enemies a thousand times more to the intent that when we judge, we should carefully think of thy goodness, and when we ourselves are judged, we should look for mercy. That's plain, man. Yeah. That's plain Jane right there, man. And the most high is going to, uh, the most high has, has scourged us. <laughs> But when he discouraged our enemies, he's gonna discourage them a, a thousand times more, man. Mm. All right, we're gonna we're gonna fully break them. All right, because we already what you're seeing right now. All right, you what you're seeing right now through the, the, the different men, the righteous men of the planet. We are those those lawyers. All right, and we we just like we, it's like when you have a a client or you have a, a planning and defendant, you go to the the DA. You might like him to the DA as like Yahweh Shah. You might like him Yahweh as being a judge. We're going to them, bring up the charges on this dude. Hey, man, he's destroying the earth. He's poisoning the water. He's killing your people. This is what he's doing. We, we're giving the Lord the report. The angels are giving the Lord the report. This devil has to go, man. Judgment has to be uh, brought to him. How long, oh, Yahweh? This motherfucker is killing us, man. Yeah. So, so in, in a sense, we're bringing up the charges. So the Lord's finna send the. Lord, the judge is finna send the DA down to slam to slam him. And what and what's and what's your and what's your uh verdict? The, the, the book already had your judgment written a four time. He saw you gonna have a thousand years under us, man. Yeah, that's Hardcore yeah. slavery. So it's already it, it just had to be played out. Yeah, that's his that's verdict. A, and that's a, huh? That's his verdict. That's your verdict. <laughs> and what's so what's so beautiful about it? Your verdict been written out. Only thing we're doing. It, it's catching up with the with the time of the scriptures, man. Through, yep. through life that we're living right now, we're catching up to the prophecies, man. That's right, All right. But you're gonna play those. You're gonna play those these things out. Go ahead, Doc. You got it now. Right, come. Oh, uh, give me that. Give me that, Job. You know, like the Lord say, He appointed the thing that's that's necessary for whoever it may be, whether it be <laughs> his own his, his own who He made covenant and promise with His sons. Or oh, He ain't read twenty two, Doc. You gotta get the head banger. He ain't read twenty two. Yeah, I read twenty two. Oh, 22. you read twenty two? 
Yeah, you uh, read 21. Yeah. When they say we scars the enemies, he ain't read 22. Yeah, he, tw- he read it. He read it. He read, he read it? it already. He read it oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. All right, come on, come on, come on. Give me that Joe. All right, this is Joe 23 and 14. For he performed the thing that is appointed for me, and many such things are with him. Yep. Therefore, I am troubled at his presence when I consider I am afraid of him. Hey, you should be afraid of the Lord, man. And when you're afraid of somebody, that brings respect. When you respect somebody, you're going to do what they require of you, man. Go ahead, up. That's right. It says, when I consider I am afraid of him, for Yahweh maketh my heart soft, and the Almighty troubleth me. Yep. Go ahead. Because I was not cut off before the darkness, neither has he covered the darkness from my face. So, hey, darkness over the whole earth, man. Uh, Joel was is the brother, one of the brother's favorite chapter down there, the brother Ryan, you know. <laughs> uh, it should be a day of thick darkness and, and gloominess, man. Cloudy, man. All right? And the darkness about to be before the face, which darkness is judgment, man. All right? And a lot of people desire to know. All right? When men are cut off in their... So... Just like that 133 cup pile up, people were cut off in their place. That hey, those people had plans, you know, more than likely to come down here for Mardi Gras, right? Had uh, you know, plans of getting their income tax and you know, getting the fourteen hundred dollars stimulus and setting up a, 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 a trip to California, whatever. Trust me, those people had plans in their life of some sort, but they didn't know. This pile up right here, you know, which happened hours ago or whatever, they didn't know that that was about to be their last, you know, rodeo, man. You see? Neither do the people understand that the Lord is about to about to touch, all right, heaven. He about to uh, touch heaven and earth, man. He about to shape the whole heavens and the whole earth, man. You see? That was it, I. That was it. That was the end of the chapter. That was it? Yeah, because the day coming, give me Isaiah 17 and 7. If not, y'all, but whatever y'all got, y'all can bring it out. If you got a precept or whatever, y'all can bring it out. Bring out what y'all got. I got Isaiah. Oh, You got a precept? Oh, your brother's got a precept? John. Go go ahead. Bring your precept out. This is uh, 1 Samuel 2. I'm going to start at verse 6. Yahweh killeth and maketh alive. Uh-huh. He bringeth down to the grave and bringeth up. Yeah. Yahweh maketh poor and maketh rich. Uh-huh. He bringeth low and lifteth up. He raiseth up the poor out of the dust and lifteth up the beggar from the dunghill. Yep. Let them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are Yahweh's and he hath set the world upon them. Yeah. Right. Verse- Go ahead. Verse 9, he will keep the feet of his saints, and the wicked shall be silent in darkness. Right. For- the wicked, that he would keep the feet of the saints, meaning he would protect the saints, as he mentioned all throughout the scriptures that he would do. All right. But the wicked shall be silent in darkness, man. You see, they shall be shut down in a pit, in a grave, and they begging for their life, crying, like cry. You know, all they do is cry, you know, with chief. Uh, chiefly eat them, you know. They're gonna gonna you know tell a rocks fall on me. Like they're gonna they bro they're gonna <laughs> basically want darkness to <laughs> overtake them, you know, just so they could get out the situation. But the Lord is gonna prolong this ass whipping for many people. He's not gonna Jake just think it's gonna be quick like that. It's gonna be quick for the elect, but for the people, it's gonna be a slow, dark, gruesome. Uh, a, a time for their life, man. They're going to have to pay for the things that they committed against the Lord that was unrighteous, man. You see? You get my favorite one. I ain't get it in a long time, man. Why don't y'all give me that songs 9 and 16, too? Where y'all get yeah. time changed. Yeah. I got it right here. <laughs> one of my favorites. This is uh, Sirach 11 and 25. It says, in the day of prosperity, there's a forgiveness of affliction. Yep. In the day of affliction, there is no more remembrance of prosperity. Yeah. It says, for it is an easy thing unto the Lord in the day of debt 
to award, to reward a man according to his ways. Yep. The affliction of an hour yep. making a man forget pleasure. And in the end, in the end of his deeds, shall he shall be discovered. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, he's just stepping on a damn roach. You know, the Lord could get pop and get, hit you with. Bro, you know how easy we step on a roach? That's how it is for the Lord to reward a man the day of judgment, man. It's easy for the Lord. That's why the Lord, oh, you get people that curse God out. F you, you know, do, woo, 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 you know, without just insane. And the Lord will let him live to be a hundred years old and then still kill him for, for what he said when he was 37, man. You see? The Lord uh, slow, he's slow in wrath, man. But he's powerful. All right? That's why the Lord say, uh, 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 believe it's Job, he say, uh, he, he, he can punish a whole nation or just a man only. Let me get that. I think it's Job 36 and 25 or something like that. The Lord of uh, 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 punish a, a, a whole nation or just a man only. Like he said, you see? Job, maybe 30, 36, 35. Y'all go ahead. I bring out what y'all got while I find it. I wish uh, I but yeah, back in that uh, 1 Samuel 2 verse 9, it said he will keep the feet of his saints and yeah. the wicked shall be silent in darkness. And hey, like like the brother was saying that 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 double ass beating is coming hey, on on it's beginning on this side with you Edomites and heathens getting taken out of power then it's going to be in full effect in the kingdom when we've got you under our complete subjection because as it says the wicked shall sit in darkness when you jump to Psalms one hundred seven verse ten it says such as sit in darkness in the shadow of death being bound in affliction and iron <laughs> those fetters of iron slavery chains that you heathens, especially you Edomites, have the only thing to look forward to. For by strength shall no man prevail. The adversaries of Yahweh shall be broken to pieces. Out of heaven shall he thunder upon them. Yep. Yahweh, Yahweh shall judge the ends of the earth, and he shall give strength unto his king and exalt the horn of his anointed. That's right. And he going to do that through Yahweh Shah, man, which is our king and savior, man. All right? It's going to start with Yahweh Shah and his holy host, man. All right? The Lord of Saba Oath, which is the Lord of armies. Those armies are the angels, man. That's his mighty men. You see? All right? That is started and, and it's going to end with him. Go ahead. You going to say something, Elder? Yeah, the brother got a precept for you. Uh, yep. You. I got that in Job, too, that I was saying. You want to bring, bring that one out first, all right? Yeah, Job 30, but again, Job 30, 34 and 29. That's what I got. That's what that's what I was speaking of. Yeah, I got that. That's that, that's the spirit. That's the brother must have got it for me. I, I like mentioned it, but I you know I paraphrased it. Well, yeah, Job well, 30, yeah, yeah, you got it, uh why? Oh come, on, come, on, come on. I was on I was on it. I was right here on it. That's what I had. Go ahead. <coughs> that's the spirit, the water, whoever that brother was on comment board. That was the bar. Yeah, yeah, come, come, yeah, come. Yeah, he, he was on it. When he giveth quietness, who then can make trouble? Yep, just talking about the Lord right here. If the Lord make everything quiet, when he give Israel quietness, meaning rest of peace, who trouble them? What nation of people gonna be able to come up against us in the kingdom of heaven? All right, this is what this is explaining right here. Go ahead, I. Right? And when he hideth his face, who then can behold him? So the Lord said, I will hide my face from them. I shall see what the end can be. Who can then see the Lord if he put his face away from people, man? Who who can go? Man, I'm about to go look at the Lord's face, man. Go ahead. Whether it be done against a nation or against a man only. So if the Lord, if the Lord hide his face from a nation or or look upon them, or judge them, it don't matter. Like, it could happen to a whole nation, or just only one, one man, man. Because the Lord, as the Lord mercy is, so is his wrath, man. Just like he could give mercy upon the entire nation, or just one man only in that nation, and punish the whole nation, like he did uh, with Lot. All right? He punished the whole... You got it. My bad. He punished David for sent for the census. He he went up against Saul, one yep. man, 
One man. Right, then he punished Israel as a nation, man. You know? Yep. The prophets and all. He like, look, all y'all. He say, Isaiah, even thy, thyself will uh, discontinue uh, from thy heritage. Yep. Jeremiah. Jeremiah. He say, even as he was, he was prophesying. Jeremiah was prophesying his own captivity, man. <laughs> Jeremiah hey, 17 and 4. I got huh? another scripture to show even the nations knew this, man. The nations knew this, uh, knew this about our Lord and how he deal, even themselves, man. And this this is from uh Judith 5 and 17. It says, and with and will my bad. And whence they sin, not before their power, they prosper. Because yep. the most high that hated iniquity was with them. Yep. But when they departed from the ways which he appointed them, all right, they were destroyed in many battles, very sore, and were led in captivity into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their, mo of their power was cast to the earth or to the ground, and their cities were taken by, by their enemies, man. Yep. So they, even the enemies knew that when we was with our power full 100%. He was with us, man. But when we go off, all right, he destroys as a nation, or he he destroys certain our our kings and different men that went off, man. That's right. And even one. That's why he said, you know, if if you one stick neck stiff neck person amongst the people, we'll marvel if he go unpunished, because yeah. it it just said that the Lord can do something against a nation or one man only. He punished Israel for aching. All right, uh, was Joshua? Pray to him like Lord, letting us. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm, do I got it mixed up? No, no, no. I think I'm right, right for Aiken. Yeah, you got it right. Uh -huh. right. Jo Joshua was like Lord, why you letting us get? You know, what be like it's a cursed thing amongst y'all. All right. So if, if it's one stiff neck person, it's marvel if he go unpunished, and we got accounts for that. All right, to prove that the Lord like, look, I'll punish all until y'all let me punish, not let him. But so you get him out the way, man. This is this is another little small one right here. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 36. The Lord shall bring thee, meaning us as a nation, and thy king, which thou shalt set over thee unto a nation <laughs> where unto a nation which ne neither nor thy fathers have known, and there yep. thou shalt serve other gods, wood and stone, man. Yep. So the Lord don't have no, uh, the Lord don't discriminate, man. That's why he said there's no uh, respect of persons, man. Yep. Yeah, because when one, one of Israel went off, look at all us. Not a good got to suffer for the bad. But even the good was bad in their times, meaning they what? They sent off and did something. So the Lord really like, I'm really not punishing you because y'all was, y'all was innocent. Y'all was fucking guilty of shit. Y'all was doing shit too. <laughs> you know he and just got, he, he writes us in his judgment, bro. Go ahead. I got one to one to back you up. He, that goes into uh that goes into Leviticus five and one because a lot of times Jake was a wick, a witness to wickedness and ain't and ain't ain't handling the shit, man. You know Jake wasn't listening even when he told Saul to go destroy a nation. Saul ain't go do the whole goddamn job, man. You know going in there half ass and shit, man. The Lord ain't dealing with no half ass in this, man. The Lord you going you going to be a hundred. You gonna be one hundred and forty-four percent, or you gonna do? You gonna not do it at all, man. Period. Go ahead. Oh, really? This is Ezekiel twenty-one verse three, and say to the land of Israel, Thus saith Yahweh, Behold, I am against thee, and I will draw forth my sword out of his sheath, and I will cut off from thee the righteous and the wicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Lord said, the Lord said, for mercy and wrath are with me. The Lord is mighty to forgive and to pull out displeasure, man. The Lord <laughs> could give you, <laughs> the Lord could give you mercy and whip your ass at the same time. Just Let look, me get it. Me get it. just look at us right now. The Lord having mercy on us and afflicting us, like like Paul said, he had a a, a a messenger of Satan to buffet him in the flesh. So the Lord will whip you and love you simultaneously, man. Man, the Lord, cold as a motherfucker, man. I got you a quick one. <laughs> Great. The Lord will chasten and comfort you. Chasten your ass and how you somebody 
and be hugging them, telling them it's all right while you whipping their ass. You know, patting them on the head. It's, it's all right. I love you. Come on, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. On. It's Romans 9 and, and 14. Hey, real quick. What you do your kids that, man? Your, your kids go try to turn on the stove or some shit. You bust the ass, but after you bust the ass, like, come here. I, Daddy love you. You all right? Don't do that. Yeah. Don't do that no more. That's how the world <laughs> be, man. Yeah. Hey, I'm busting your ass. I'm doing it because I love you, man. If I didn't give it, if I didn't give it, then I'll just let you be a bastard out here, man. I'm gonna get another one too, though. You got it out, my bad. Slave me. Yes, it's Romans 9 and 15. For he has said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. That's right. I so so when the Lord, the Lord basically said, Look, man. I don't, I, I'm not emotional like y'all. I created emotions. I created all that. Like, listen, I, if if I want to do this, I'm doing, if I want to set up the basis of men, I'm setting up the basis of men. All right? It's evident. It happened. Go ahead, I, go ahead, Elder. Yeah, I got one you real finished? fast. You finished? Why? Yeah, that was go, it. Go ahead, yeah, this is This is Job 13 and 15. Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him but I will maintain my own way before him. Yup, meaning I'm gonna stay righteous before him, all right? Because I know his slammy, you know, his chastening working for my good. That's why he doing it. Cause he not gonna do, the Lord don't do nothing that's, that's not profitable for you. Even if you, even if he break you down, like break your soul, the Lord like this was profitable for you <laughs> to get to the next step or the next level. Or whatever it was that he had out for you to uh uh re retain within that uh you know that situation, man. Go ahead, right. out. I got another one real fast. Job 30, 34, 33. Such it be according to thy mind. Question should mark. it be? Should it be? Should it be should it be according to thy mind? Question mark. He will recompense it whether it whether thou refuse or whether thou choose. <laughs> and not I. Therefore, speak he, what thou know. Whether thou refuse right. or whether thou choose. He, he appointed. He appointed the thing. Uh, he chose the thing that's appointed for me. So whether I refuse or or, or go up against it or, or take it, it, I ain't have a choice. I really didn't have a choice. So that's why we rock whatever the, the hand of the Lord give us, man. You see, if He give us that left hand side, which is His whooping stick, we get that too. All right, shall it be all good with no bad? All right, can we just tell the Lord, look, I don't want to be punished at all. And I want all of them in knowledge. I just want to serve you, you know, and just do that, which is, you know, right for your eyes. The Lord, like, no, you're going to do what's needful for you, man. All right? That's what's needful for you that I have set up. Go ahead, Doc. That was it on that. That was it? Yeah, beautiful. It said, whether thou refuse, meaning the Lord, look, I'm going to pay you whether you refuse or whether you choose to, to get the payment, man. You know? That's a you know, whether, you, whether you won't get the spiritual ass whipping or not, you still getting it. That's why we learn to bow down to the Lord. We just bow down to the Lord and take the good with the bad, man. All right, the Lord fucked me up, took the call, took the job, took my woman. So be it. Fuck it. Yeah, you I see? Real fast. This is uh Job, this is Job 37. Uh let me see where I'm gonna go at. Oh, this is I'm gonna get to the point. This is Job 37 and, and 23. It says, touching the mighty, we cannot find him out. He is excellent in power and in judgment and in uh plenty of justice. He would not, he would not uh, uh afflict, he would not yeah, afflict. Men do therefore fear him. He will respect not any that are wise of heart. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, in your heart or your mind, you you basically think could go against his judgment, man. Or another way out. All right? Or see it not how he, as, as he have put it before you. That's why we just accept the judgments of the Lord at the end of the day. No matter what it is. Man, if the Lord kill our uncle, man, we say, hey, man. You know, at least in his right mind, man. You know, <laughs> it's pick up and roll. Like, what you think? You untouchable? All right? Like, man, I'm sure that I'm a man of the Lord. Lord shouldn't did that to me. 
Man, I don't question nothing the Lord do. Nothing. All right? I'm a rock of Zion. I don't <laughs> question it. In my mind, nowhere or nothing. And even if I do, I'm a rock of Zion, rebuke the thought. You know, Lord willing, he rebuked that thought immediately, man. All right? We don't question. As a man that know the Lord, man, you ain't supposed to be questioning nothing the Lord do, man. I don't give a fuck who you is, what rank the law. I must, the Lord is working with you in spirit and wisdom and knowledge. We not supposed to question nothing the Lord do, man. Rock and roll, man. This is it. Get with it, uh, you know, and move on, man. You see? But give me that, uh, Give me that Psalms. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, what the scripture says too in in, uh, uh, in uh, Romans the ninth chapter, you know, around around probably like 16, 17, some so somewhere up in that in the teens, he say, uh, does not the pot the potter have power over the clay? You know, you know, you gotta do you gotta do it right to even be questioning me, man. I created you, man. Yeah. I make you do yeah. whatever I want you to do. You know. And that just how it shows how much power the Lord has, even with judgment. The Lord, the Lord will set your ass up to kill you, man. That's we don't that's what I said. We we understand uh dead out here, man. And that's that happens uh, through the Lord's judgment. We understand how the Lord is, is working and willing and dealing. The people of the world doesn't know, they think the Lord is a, a, a big a big God. He only do he only does good. All right. He's stupid. Yeah, like he's stupid. stupid. He can run game and run G. Yeah. That's <laughs> not the Lord of the Bible, man. <laughs> That's it. You not serving Yahweh, bro. That's not. Yeah, it was, you yeah, it don't was know so it. bad back then that, that the, the nations of the earth once called the Most High, who we call Yahweh, they called him Allah Shadrach, meaning terrible demon like power. Showing you how great he was, how terrible. He's still terrible. He ain't nothing changed. He's still, he still that dude, man. Yeah, <laughs> no, he's still that dude, and he's gonna show you he's still that dude, man. He's gonna, like the truth said, he's gonna step out of that broad throne and leap down on earth, man. Yeah, he's gonna, he gonna jack shit up. Yeah, he's gonna, he gonna use his son to jack shit up, man. You're gonna find out the people of the, of the earth gonna find out how great it is because he, like the scripture say, uh, the fool have said in heart, there is no God. Well, you're gonna find out there is a power, all right, there is a Yahweh, all right. Of, of, of the uh that governs the planet the lord said this this motherfucker earth is my footstool man i, I, I put my feet on this shit man yes yeah. you said you people ain't nothing but grasshoppers to me man i'll crush you man i will crush mm -hmm. your ass out here man and you plant you niggas out here playing with the lord man you see how the lord twisted metal motherfuckers every day on the highway in the hood all right Motherfucker leaping off uh, uh, 30, 30 foot balusters and, and swine diving off the side of the building. The Lord make niggas do that, man. You playing. The Lord would kill you, man. <laughs> and kill you again. Yeah. This is key hit. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. And then you this is keep dying. Man. <laughs> That's why the Lord said you, you should not feel the one. All right. And he made a bold statement there, man. You shouldn't feel the one who can uh, kill the soul. The soul in the body. body. We should feel the one can kill a soul in the body, man. In hell. Get you out of here, man. No more. Finito. He had the power to do that if he wanted to. But he, like I said, the Lord said, I'm merciful, though, man. And I, when I kill you, like you said, I do you good, man. I, yeah. did, you, I did you some, I showed you love. It's like when you have a dog. Dog on in the backyard. He, he with other dogs. The nigga just running the goddamn streets and he come back to you with goddamn rabies. I ain't gonna sit there and watch the nigga uh, suffer. I'm gonna take him out there in the field. Put him 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 and I'm gonna put that full photo to his head, man. I'm gonna show him hey. some love, man. Show him some mercy. Yeah. Same thing with the Lord. The Lord, hey, you know, I'm gonna show you some love, man. <coughs> but see, no. yeah, man. It's just that. It's just, it just that how it is, man. You, you know, you, the people of the world doesn't, doesn't know or have a con real super connection with the, 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 the power, your power of the Bible, man. The how the, the, the Bible is no nonsense, right? When hey. you dealing with me, you dealing with me. Just like a, a man, this how, that's why the Lord said He likened Israel unto a woman. When you dealing with me, you dealing with, with me. Okay, I'm your power. I'm your. I'm for you. You you have to come to me for everything. Just like you, you know, same thing with a relationship with, with your woman. Your woman supposed to fear you. 
You are really and truly, you are her power. You are her, you know, her God, man. You know? Same thing with our power. Everything goes through him. You're supposed to fear him. Reason why, you know, reason why a lot of women do what they do, because they don't fear the guy they with. They don't fear him. That's why they, they that's why they got Tyrone. They got Sancho coming all through the back door, all through the window and shit, because they don't fear the guy they with. If that nigga was crazy now, then if that nigga was crazy, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I got a husband. You can't, you don't know, you don't want, you don't want my husband crazy. You don't want, you don't want my number. Because he's that nigga, man, that nigga crazy. But, you know, like I say, you're going to find out. You see the, hey, somebody said the Lord a big stepper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big old stepper. Big old yeah. stepper. <laughs> hey. Yeah, the Lord, that brother Key said that, man. Key said that. I know that was, I knew that was that brother. Shalom on too, bro. I know that, that brother. Hey, hey, big old stepper hey, too. You heard me? Big old stepper. Hey, Amos three. A hey, say, uh, the lion had roared. Who shall not fear? Yeah, you know. Hey, man, look, the lion roared. Who ain't gonna fear? The Lord basically like, I'm that big. I'm a big stepper. Like the lion, the king of the jungle. He's Everybody, like, we got to get from out this door. Whatever we're around, we got to get the fuck, man. So, the Lord, and the Lord wrote by his what? By his judgment. The way he executed. Give me Psalms 9 and um 16 and 17. Right? One of y'all brothers ever got it? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, I guess they're wrong. Psalms 9. Come on, bring it out. Bring it out, all right? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 16. Yep. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executed, man. Man, this scripture never get old. All right? <laughs> Bro, he's known by the judgment he executed. Y'all saw that 123 cup pile up? All right, that's lightweight, right? The Lord, like, oh, oh, man, that's a, you know, that's a, that ain't even a walk in the park. Wait till y'all see all the buildings in America burnt down and broken. Like this is this this ain't even a warm up. You know, you know, you see cover shooting half court shots and shit. You know, you know, this just warm up. Wait till the game start, man. All right. Wait till the big business come when the law could be that big stepper. You know, Jake, oh, Jake, you know, walk around in the videos. I'm a stepper. I yeah, got, I got this. The Lord is a stepper. Hey, I got, I got, I got the definition of uh, big stepper, man. Big stepper, <laughs> <laughs> run it out. It says, "Big stepper, the muscle, the one who gets the job done, Ooh. the money maker, the muscle. Says, that boy be on that shit. He's a big stepper. Yeah, big stepper. <laughs> hey, he with the, the shit. The Lord be on, the Lord be on his judgment shit." And um, <laughs> hey, them angels is big steppers. I'm talking about they appease the wrath of him that made them. Like the Lord, so much of a big stepper to the Lord could send lightning, and the lightning say, Here am I, Lord. Like I struck, I'm about to strike this bit. I'm good for the go. The Lord said, Go ahead, man. You know, <laughs> the Lord sending lightning, and the lightning putting some respect on him. Saying, Lord, I have made it. What you want me to do? <laughs> that's, yes, that's Lord. This, this, that's, a, that's in scripture. This ain't something I'm coming up with. All right? That's in Job. See? The doc, thou sent us for lightning, and the lightning say, here am I, Lord. Meaning, it tell the Lord when it made it to his destination, man. Don't play. Big <laughs> stepping. You see? <laughs> Y'all got Y'all got it. Yeah, man. What y'all got? Y'all got something else, though? Bro, I'm looking for one. It had a little bit more in the one um, I was reading. Oh, yeah, yeah. Read that 16 and go to 17. All that smoke. It says, the wicked is snared in the work of his hands. Yup. Haganon Salah. Yep. The, wicked shall, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget your house. So, the wicked gonna be turned into hell. And hell is that condition that misery, all right, that our people is suffering and, uh, and going through an afflictions and activity in hell, man. 
all right? This position of difficulty, these straits, all right? The nations that forget the Lord, they're going to be turned into hell. And that's all the nations going to suffer hell, man. All right? Yeah. I got one for you. Well, I got two. I got one on the comment board to go back up what we said. Uh, this is from the brother Amawad. Uh, Job 38 and 35. Can can it not? Can it thou send lightning yep. that they may go and say, my bad, it move, that they may uh, go and say unto thee, here we are. Question here we are. Right. This We're yeah. talking about lightning and thunder, bro. That old, that it obey the commandment of the Lord. And you, Jake talking about he got an F and N and he a stepper? Is you serious? Nigga, you got a gun that's made by your enemy and it's probably faulty. Remember that, Jake. Your enemy is going to give you faulty guns. They control the opposition. Like, they control both sides, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Yeah, the other one I and, had with Go ahead. They controlled by the Lord that control them. The Lord control the wicked, which the is, the, is this war. Even that gun you got, man. Even that gun you got. The, the most high want to make that bitch jam, he can make that bitch jam. Come Period. on, man. Period. Period. Man. We, talking about, we talking about a man-made object, man, that get hot, overheats, all type of shit, you know. But anyway, yeah. this is what I want to back up what you were saying. This is... uh. This is Proverbs 17, 11. It says, an evil man seeketh only rebellions. Therefore, yep. a cruel messenger is sent, shall be sent against him. Yep. So, so the Lord is sending them spiritual gladiators at your ass, man. Come on. Have you tripping out, man? Them angels and them demons that get on you, man. And they're going to get the job done. They're not going to procrastinate. They're waiting. To, hey, man, you read some of the scriptures, you know, um, <coughs> with the one about uh, who's going to go down and deceive... Uh, what his name is Ahab. 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 Yeah. Hey man, they did that. They probably did that. Lock down the Lord wine up there, man. Trying to go do that shit, man. I would do it, Lord. I do. They came up with different ways to do it, man. So the angels, the angels can't wait to, to do the Lord's judgment. You know, when you see people out here getting jacked up, the Lord summons the angels to do it, man. Jake getting killed, shot, stabbed, or whatever. It's judgment from the Lord, man. All right. And we don't feel bad when the when the Lord judges the uh, people of the earth, man. All right. Because they don't, they, they they die without honor, man. If you a man of the Lord, and the Lord take you out of the truth, you die without honor. All that you have done in the truth, all your works follow you, man. So, like I always say, you 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 uh you don't die as a nigga. Uh, you know, you, you don't suffer wrongfully as a nigga. You suffer. You, if you gonna suffer, you are gonna suffer uh, rightfully as a man of the Lord. Which your works follow you if the Lord decides for you to die. You know. Cause even in um, I think it's, if I'm not mistaken, in Ezra's man, the Lord, the, the, uh, Ezra was talking to the angel, and, and he and the angel told Ezra, he's like, man, look, I might, I'm gonna find it too after this. I tell you, the Lord told him, man, or the angel told him, it'd be up to the Most High that grant thee whether you are gonna live or die in the day of Jacob's trouble, basically, man. Roughly yeah. paraphrasing, you know. It's not I'm of me, it. yeah. It's not, yeah, it's not of me, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm gonna find it. <coughs> find that man. Uh, yeah, it's, it's not granted unto me to tell you whether thou is uh, Edra's uh, second Edra's. Uh, it's like he he was basically like it ain't given unto me to tell you whether yeah, you're yeah. gonna live with that. Yeah, I found it. It's full. Second Edra's full. It's five and full. It's five, five. Yeah, I, I get the whole meat off the bone. Says uh, five and one. Second Edward's five and one. Nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the days shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in great number, and the way of the truth shall be hidden, and the and the land shall be uh, be barren of faith, but iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, and of that thou hast heard a long ago. In the land that thou seest may be have root, shall it says, uh, shall ye see the waste suddenly? And this the point. But if the most high grant thee to live, thou shalt see afterward the third trump trumpet, that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night, and the moon 
Hence, in the day. You got it out. I just brought it. I was it's bringing it out. Oh, it's a lot, guy. You can reread it, brother. Bible show. Yeah, this is uh, Second Ezra 5 and 4. It says, But if the Most High grant thee to live, there you go, thou shalt see after the third yep. trumpet yep. that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the day, I mean, in, in the night, and the moon thence in the day. You got it. All right, come. Yeah, if, if, but the whole thing is the petition of him granting them life to see because he basically the angel don't know when it's, it's time to call like they don't know when they have to do they just wait on a on a summonsing of the lord because they are are, are ministering that you know they minister they servants of the lord so are we you see so if you don't know when your time uh, uh calling may be then you know hey serve the lord man right because the lord can add to your life or take away. He added 15 years to Hezekiah's life. You see? So, you know, Hezekiah thought he about to get a ghost up. The Lord told him, that I have, you know, added 15 years to thy life, man. You see? So, we don't know uh, uh, the times. We don't know our times are measured in our lives, man. We don't know when we going to pass or, you know, when we going to, how long we going to live. We don't know. You got it right? There's another one real fast. Going into the angels. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, uh, Sirach sixteen and twenty seven, who garners the works forever, and then his hands are the chief of them unto all generations. Yeah. They neither labor, nor are they weary, nor yeah. cease from their works. Yeah. Right. You're None of them angels. hinder another, and they shall ne never disobey his word. Right. So if his word, if they say, look, go kill Kobe. Man, the angels don't give a fuck with Kobe. Man, they looking at the spirit. We come and get the spirit of this man. We don't give a shit about the body. The Lord, like, bring his spirit to me. See, that's another thing when you die, the Lord is knocking your body off. All right? He's coming to get your spirit. All right, and it's going to return unto him, okay. And then you go and get your judgment, and you sit and wait until your time you come back down, man. And it's in the scriptures, the scriptures back us up on this. All right, you go get your judgment for your next life, or whenever you coming back down, or your three, four generation, whatever going on, because it's appointed unto man once to die, then the judgment. All right, mm -hmm. I think that's Hebrews 9 and 27. Nine, 27. Yeah, you see. So the Lord, like, go get his spirit around by the throwing his judgment for when he come back down. But, you know, according to this time coming back, you know, you coming back through the righteous laws of a man of the Lord. Or you coming back, you know, with, you know, uh, as the elect man, even if you die, you're going to come back with your shot first, man. You see, so, you know, that's that's, you know, that's the ways of judgment, man. And judgments, judgments, all the judgments lie in the hand of the Lord. All right, he's the author of them, okay? He's the finisher of our our judgments, and he in the middle of it, man. He's everything leading up to it and uh, uh, uh of it and happening of it. You want to make a point out? Yeah, I got a, I got one real fast. I think this, Come is, on, go ahead. this is number, this is number 27 16. Let the Lord, the power of spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation. But just showing you that he's a, he's the he's the power of all <laughs> flesh and spirits, man. That's right. You know, he's the king, he, he's the king of spirits, man. All you know, all the father there is, is it belongs to him, man. Yeah, he the father of spirits. That's why you know one of my favorites too is is the scripture in Matthew where the Lord say, uh, should not a, a sparrow fall to the earth unless the Lord has summoned it, man. Basically, you know, roughly paraphrasing, man. So the Lord does all <laughs> things, man, even death, you know, even life, man. To tell you the truth, even life. Because even in the, in the Ezra, it's tell you that the that the that the spirit world it call it's called the spirit world the chamber of souls. It tell you they're like a woman, you know. It's like a woman. It also like a revolving door. Their spirits coming, their spirits gone, but they're all governed by the Lord. The Lord, hey, it's time for him to go from off the planet Earth. It's time for him to go back to the planet Earth. The Lord summons everything, man. You know, and the angels doing His will, doing His work. You know, and it is what it is, man. Let me see. Okay, yeah. I'm just checking the comment board out. You might Yeah. 
kind of just uh, just to back up on how the the angels, both on the left hand and the right hand, oh, the will of the Most High. Oh, I got one real. The brother got a banger. Uh, the brother uh, Kabar Jeremiah 30, 32, 27. Behold, I am the Lord. The power of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Question mark. <laughs> Question mark, man. Yeah. The Lord, bro, the Lord is stunting all through this book, bro. <laughs> the Lord is stunting. Bro, the Big Lord is stunting like, man, listen, y'all live, y'all, <laughs> y'all are in the palm of my hand. Y'all are graving on the palms of my hand. Everything orders by me, like everything, all right? Get the word of the command from me, all right? When the earth was created, it got the word from me. And it was created by my son and the, and the angels, man. Everything yeah. is ordered and obeyed and commanded by the word of the Lord, man. Everything. You see, let them. Even the <laughs> earth, the elements, all right? It was it all came from the word of the Lord, man. And it was done by his through his son and the angels, man. That's it. All right. <laughs> it's no other way around it, man. Okay, the winds and the thunder and the fire and all that is 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 commanded by the Lord. Where that where that uh, there's a whole chapter that say, uh, "Thou bless the Lord." I think it's the prayer of Azariah and Apocrypha. Everything, yeah. everything, the Lord. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to remember what you're talking about. Uh, I'm gonna get it. Oh yeah, this uh, the song of the three holy children, uh, and it uh, the uh, then the three. I used to, all right. I used to, yeah, I see what you're talking about. Yeah, about twenty nine, and all the way down to like sixty eight. All things worship and bless and praise the Lord, man. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I got it. I remember. I thought that was what you wanted too. Yeah, that's what I wanted. I. I kind of got it mixed up where it was at. All right. Everything blessed the, the, the Lord. Even the throne that the Lord sit on, it blessed the Lord. Like, <laughs> come on, man. The heavens blessed the Lord. Like the, the clouds, the rain, all of it blessed him. Like, you, it, it, uh, uh, it praises him, man. Everything that was created praised him. I, I get it real. F I get some of what you're talking about. This is uh, <coughs> the song of the three holy children. Uh, one and I started uh, I started at 32. It says, Bless art thou the, that, that beholdest the depths and set it upon the cherubims and be praised and exalted above all forever. Bless art thou on the, the glorious throne of thy kingdom. Yep. To be praised and glorified above all forever. Y'all keep going. Blessed art thou that is in the firmament of heaven and above <laughs> all to be praised and glorified forever. The firmament, the firmament <laughs> praise the Lord, man. Just stop playing with the Lord, Jake. Jake, man, the Lord about to step on thee. Go ahead, I. Oh, all, oh, all ye works of the Lord, bless ye <laughs> the Lord. <laughs> Praise and everything is the works of the Lord. Like everything you see, it tell you in that uh, wisdom of government, that people take the things that they see rather they glory what they see rather than the creator of it. Or the cre the uh, y'all know what I'm talking about? I think no, it's like wisdom. Of Roman, yeah. wisdom no, of no, no, it's wisdom of Solomon. I, nah, I know. Yeah. Nah, this is wisdom of Solomon. They praise like what they huh? What? I got it right here. It's 13. It's 13. It? Yeah. This was a Masalim right here. Instead of glorifying the creator, they kind of praise the, you know, the things that they see. But go ahead. This yeah, is uh, uh 36. O ye heavens, bless ye the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. O ye angels of the Lord, bless ye <laughs> the Lord, praise and exalt him. Above all forever. Oh, yeah. It said Lord. praise him forever. It said forever. All right. Ever is, is uh he the ancient of days, so it's never ending. So all his works and everything they created praises him forever. Go ahead, I 
I know you ain't got to get all of them, but you know. Yeah. And it yeah. goes on to say, uh, blessed, this is all ye waters that uh that be above the heavens. All right. <laughs> There's a the water above the heavens. The waters above the heaven. Come on, man. The Shemayans praise the Lord, man. Yeah. Bless you, the Lord praises on him forever. And it goes on to tell you about the moon and the, the wind, the winter and the summer, even the ice <laughs> and the cold, you know, night and day. You know, all that's up in there, man. Star Come on, man. Heaven. Come on, it, man. It even, even says in um it says the fowls of the heaven of the fowls, the whales, the, the beast, the, fowls, the beast, the priests. The servants even said, Oh, ye souls, oh, you, oh, ye spirits and souls of the righteous, bless ye the Lord. Come Don't on, man. Play, man. Oh, man, ye, the Lord he, of... said, he said, Oh, ye holy and humble men of hearts, bless ye the Lord. <laughs> oh, man. Getting down, hey, man. Man, the Lord of Big General, huh? <laughs> general. Man, you know, man, you should want you man, you should want to serve the Lord. Like, listen. Even if you don't want to serve the, serve the Lord, you really don't have a choice. The Lord got you doing that in your mind. <laughs> like, it ain't no way around the Lord. Just get down. Like, don't fight against the Lord. You kicking against the pricks, buddy. Go ahead, I. That was Go ahead, it. That was it. That was Ryan. It. Go ahead with that. Wisdom of Solomon 13. I mean, I, I believe the point proved, right? Like, I mean, I don't know, you know, how much more we could go. Bring it out, right? Uh, this is Wisdom of Solomon 13, verse 1. Surely that's, they... That's the one I was going to get. That's the one I was trying to go to after that. That's, that's the spirit. Go ahead. Uh. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Surely vain are all men by nature who are yeah. ignorant of the Most High and could not, out of the good things that are seen, know him that is. No. Yeah. Neither by considering the works did they acknowledge the workmaster, right. but deemed either fire or wind <laughs> or the there, or the circle of the stars, or the violent water, or the lights of heaven, to be the gods which are in the earth. So that cut that cut all the people with the uh, uh the, the Big Bang theories, theories, right? Because it says that all the wind and the fire, what it do? It praise the Lord in the song of the three holy children. Meaning what? It it acknowledges the work master. So when you not a, when you're putting the credit, it, it tell you in Romans. Who served the, uh, the creature, creature more than the creator? Yeah. You see? So now these people with these uh, doctrines of men, all right, they, they are, the scriptures automatically cut them off, man. You see? So they are vain by nature, meaning their thoughts are empty because they're not acknowledging the workmaster who is the head of the, uh, head of the, 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 you know, the head of everything, man. Go ahead, I. Verse three, with you, with whose beauty, if they be delighted, put them to be gods. Let them know how much better the Lord of them is, for the first author of beauty hath created them. Stop it, man! <laughs> so when you the author of something, you the beginning and the finisher, the middle. You the one made the book, the exclamation, all the way down to the exclamation points in the Bible. The Lord spoke it, man. Put an exclamation point right there. You know hey, what I'm saying? Hey, because like me, I'm not a I'm not a draw and paint real good. But I'm I'm the author and finisher of that. Like you said, I can I can I can shift the picture how I want to. I can put it in there what I want to put in there because I'm, right. I'm the author of it, man. You know, if I want the guy to be smiling, I make him smiling. If I want him to look sad, angry, whatever, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Same That's thing right. with the most high. He's the workmaster, man. Yeah. The Lord judgment is heavy. Go ahead. It got a little more. Right? Con, con. Verse four. But if they were astonished at their power and virtue, let them understand by them how much mightier he is that made them. That's right. So all the things that's praising the Lord in the song of the three holy children, you got to understand how much more mightier is he that made them. <laughs> they got somebody that created the lightning that he sent forth. The Lord created the lightning. Come on, man. Like, so the Lord's judgments is above all. Like, the way that he judged all matters, all things, is all the way above our might and our strength. So you know what we do? We just respect it, man. What'd you say, bro? 
This is a book, like they said, this is above your pay grade, man. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Go read five. Con, con. For by the greatness and beauty of the creatures, proportionably the maker of them is seen. So through his creation, you that's can tell there's a maker. There's a, a higher power for all you I am God ass niggas, man. When you see the moon and the sun and lightning, that should let you know, like, wait a minute. There's a man. There's something way higher than us, man. All right? Like, it's something that made us. All right? Not something, because we know that something is Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So I don't even call it a something. All right? We know exactly who it is. We have revealed those secrets unto his men, man. You see, Lord willing, Abu Rakazan, we those men. So through the creation, you can see the creator. You goddamn simpletons. That's why the Lord. Hey, I'm about to hit him with. I'm about Lord to hit just him gonna step up, on. You know? The Lord just gonna step on niggas, man. Go ahead, I, I'm finished. I ain't got nothing. Yeah, else, he, bro. Go down, he gotta read down to seven though, man. My bad. But yet for this, they are less to be blamed, for they peradventure air seeking yep. the most. And desirous to find him. <laughs> yeah, because what they do, they fall away trying to find the Lord. Like, what's the Lord Gromo? You know, in, in the in the mathematicals or the astronomical, uh, the blast of wind and earth. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> You're seeking out too far. It's too high for you. So now you're gonna err in the things you're trying to seek God out, man. No man can seek the Lord. You right. tell me? Go ahead. For being conversant in his works, they search him diligently and believe their sight because the things are beautiful that are seen. <laughs> so the things that they see, they believe in more than the creator, man. You see? The proportion of the maker. But go ahead, um, El, you got it. Hey, I'm about I'm to say, because I made the statement, you know, I'm just share a part, like I said, I know that, you know, just like the Most High is the workmaster, he's the author <coughs> of everything. Same thing, same thing with an artist, a guy that makes beats, a guy that uh, does certain uh, crafts, man. You know, I, like I say, should I do it? Uh? Should I show him something? Nah, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta bust the eyes. It's, it's, it's coming. It's coming. They, they don't, don't know you eyes. get busy. You might well do we it. we I, know you get busy. We know you get busy, busy. I, well do I ain't it. talking I, about no lightweight shit. We know we, you get busy. I, and we ain't no it. out here, man. We, we are show really it. some shit. Show Look, it, man. Show it. That's how we get down, man. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> same thing with the most high. The most high gets down to his work, man. The same thing yeah. how we get down with drawing, man. Uh, Jake like draw that. that shit in two hours, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> it ain't drawing a year or two. Draw that yeah, shit yeah. an hour or two, man. That's light work, bro. <laughs> yeah. That's light work, man. Hey, like go said, to nine. The most high. He's the creator. He's the author of it. So he can, just like I, I create a picture or do something how I want to, the same thing with the most high, man. The most high does what he want to do, man. And he, he dare somebody to say something about it, man. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, he'll, 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 not, he'll make you say something about it. And then kill you for saying something about it. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord cool, bro. We ain't bro. We ain't, ain't nobody messing with the Lord. Go to nine, do I? Because it, it's all good. <laughs> this is straight cut to Kemet and all them other this philosophies and doctrines. But go to nine, I. Come. How be it, neither are they to be pardoned. For if they were able to know so much that they could aim at the world, how did they not sooner find out the Lord thereof? <laughs> How you couldn't find out through the aiming of the world? Even they got scientists. Men who didn't even believe this shit hollering out, they have to be a power or God from their studies, man. Didn't Albert Einstein say that? Like, the more I study science, the more I find yeah. out that they have it to be something oh. that's creating this, man. Yeah. Like this, the nigga always say, you always catch those people up in the in the world that talk about the Big Bang. Well, goddamn nigga, if, 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 if there's a Big Bang, what created the Big Bang? Something what created that? that? <laughs> and nigga gets stuck every time, man. Yeah. Yeah. You talking about a man who don't believe, an atheist. He don't believe that there's a power. He said the more that he 
Study science where science is nothing but knowledge. Don't get confused by words and all that. Science just mean knowledge, all right? So the more and more knowledge he retained on creation, he basically said, look, it have to be a God or a power that's doing this because it's detailed and decorated so strategically, man. There's no way something can be so strategically put together to where you could just be like it appeared out of the thin air, man. That's impossible, man. That painting that she just showed you, it was impossible to just pop on a paper like that, man. That had to take craft and Work architecture and strategy to have it detailed in such a way, man, or manner. And that's a light. That's light compared to the Lord, man. It's you deep. see? That's nothing compared to the Lord. But if man have that capability, how much more our power? But I mean, you know, ultimately, hey, I, the point was made if y'all brothers got anything to say. Remember, we bumites though, too, man. Yeah, we bums, yeah. We that bums, too. We have no time, we have no use. Yeah, you know? we don't got, yeah, we can't do nothing. We we just, and we, and don't forget, we don't got women or jobs and we just scream on the corner all day, you know? You know, like mad black men, like the mad black woman. We just on the corner screaming to the top of our lungs, cursing people out. We got to throw that in there, too, because, you know, they say that, too. Yeah, cause we, like I said, we really wanted yeah. things in the side. We could have we been there, but, but that's why our heart's not at, you know? Our heart's is in the most high. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah. that's that's fulfilling for us, man. You know, so yeah. you can call us whatever we want, but we, we are men with talents, man. All right? Just like the, the elder apostles. And the apostle of Ramah, like Gabor, those men get down in, in art, uh, what it is, carpentry and shit, man. Get down, man. So we ain't just over here twiddling our thumbs, man. You know, we, you know, brothers really get down out here. Yeah, That's big facts. But we, and guess what we do? We glorify the Lord. You don't see us, you know, if we use demonstration ourselves, it's all to edify the church that the Lord capabilities is is how much, you know, we all doing it in spiritual edification, man, at the end of the day. Because we don't glory in ourselves, man. We don't put nothing into ourselves, man. All right? We glory Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, and they got niggas that's mad at that. Fear, I can see if you be mad if we glorifying our own self. You mad because we glorifying our power that the, the creator, how much, if you think, Jake, listen, if you look at us, bro, you think Israelites as a whole are the greatest looking people on the planet Earth? Wait till you set eyes on Yahweh and Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, man. Wait till we see them. You think you have seen glory? Come on, this listen. Hey man, nigga seen too much of Diddy, man, doing the Harlem Shake, you know? Yeah, bro. You know, Jake, Jake lost down here, man. But Jake on, hey, they all shall be righteous in the kingdom. Once they see all my works, judgments, and all the things that I'm gonna do. You know, and when they get up here and see me, hey, you know, they're gonna they gonna be all right, all right? They gonna be all right. You know, yeah, they just man. gotta get their ass. They gotta get yeah, they fate, they fate is in what they see. Our fate is in what we hope for, our expectation, man. You see? All right. But yeah, that's probably it though. I... Yeah, that's it. You know, hey, Lord willing, the video was edifying, you know, to those that hey needed to receive it at the end of the day, man. You know, we do this first and foremost for the whole for elect and, of course, those that cleave to the body. And everybody else, man, you'll get it by and by in the kingdom. All right? So if you don't want to get down with the Lord, if you don't want to re reveal the Lord's judgment on this side, then you're going to be part of the judgment, man. That's it. All right? And you're going to wake up in them Hebrew pampers and, you Hebrew know, Lord huggies. willing, we just show y'all the right way after that. <laughs> Hebrew huggies, man. Yeah, them Hebrew huggies. Because you ain't want... Because you ain't won't take heed. Because y'all, oh, them niggas ain't the men of the Lord. Look at him. You know, he be cursing him. Sometimes he don't know the words he's saying. You know, whatever. Right? <laughs> you know, it is what it is. But, you know, Lord willing, it was edifying, you know, to the church. All right? And those that needed to receive it, man. But I'm going to say Shabbat Shalom. And we're going to give infinite honors and prayers to Y'all hold on to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone and salutations to the Akims that's pushing the truth and sincerity. To the next time, I'm going to say shalom. Shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shalom.